What's going on guys, it's VBuzz11 here. I'm coming at you guys quick today for Motivational Monday. I got a lot to do today. Pretty hectic day, so I'm going to get right to the point. The title is Plant Your Seeds. I'm going to start off with a quote real quick. The quote is, most people will forget what you said to them. Most people will forget what you did to them. But a lot, a lot of times, more often than not, people really won't forget how you made them feel throughout those times. Like whether it was positive, negative. It's a lot harder to forget how somebody made you feel rather than those other two that I mentioned. So that's a quote, and I was thinking about it, so I decided to make this video as well. Planting your seeds is the title. So now I want you to think of a plant, how tiny the seed is before you put it in the ground, right? You're going to plant it into the ground, into the right environment, into the right soil, so it grows into a beautiful thing that you wanted it to be. Now, as the days go by, you watch it, you know, slowly growing and slowly producing, but the only way that it's actually going to grow is it all comes down to how you ultimately t are taking care of it. Like, you're giving it the right sunlight, you're giving it the right amount of water, you're putting it in the right environment, as I just mentioned before, and you're doing everything possible to try to make it grow into a beautiful thing that it's going to eventually become. But it's not there yet, so as of right now, you're trying to give it everything that you can so it grows into that beautiful thing. So now I'm talking plant your seeds. I'm, I'm telling you guys, plant your seeds into our youth. I want you to plant your seeds, plant, meaning plant your knowledge, plant your wisdom, plant encouragement, like plant inspiration into our youth of the world. We're obviously young as it is. I'm 19 years old. I'm a young kid. But I'm saying my younger brother is 16, 15. Well, he just turned 16. So I'm telling you guys to plant your seeds into them. Like think of them as the plant. Like they're slowly growing into what they will become. But we can help them. We can encourage them. We can inspire them. We can provide them with the right things. We can guide them in the right direction by helping them as a whole, by helping them grow into what they want to become. We could lead by example. That's the exact word that I wanted to say. The, the primary word in this whole thing is lead by example. You look at a 14 or 15 year old or even a younger person, they're confused. Like, they don't know what the real world is like yet because they're still in middle school or they're a uh, freshman or sophomore in high school. They're still confused, and they obviously don't really know what they want to do yet when they get out there in the real world. That's where we come in. We're, we're, supposed to, we're supposed to be role models for them. They look up to us more than we think. They look up to us more than anything else in this world. If they see us doing, so doing something, chances are they're probably going to be doing something that very next day. So direct them in the right direction. Like, guide them in the right direction like you, you use your head when you're around them like don't like I, I don't do drugs in general but I'm saying don't do drugs around like your siblings your, your younger your younger brothers and sisters don't drink around them you know perfect example when I was a senior in high school my brother was a freshman if a rap song came on I take it off right away because I, I know there's cursing in it I know there's disgusting lyrics in it I don't really like rap music myself but I'm just saying if, if you're into rap music and you see like and you're obviously like in the car with like your little brother or sister all jokes aside, they probably don't even know most of those words that these rappers are saying. So don't don't try to show them that because one, they're not ready for it, and two, that's that's I don't think that's that's how you would want your younger kids to to live. Like you see, like Eminem for a perfect example, like the rapper, he is trying to provide Haley, his daughter, with like the best life possible, and he's trying to obviously not get her involved in like all the violent, all the violence that he had in his life and all like the unfortunate times and stuff. So he's trying to like be the exact opposite for his daughter. He's trying to lead by example, but at the same time, he's in love with rap. So it is kind of tough. I do understand, you know, whatever problems you guys may have. But I'm just saying, lead by example, like, as much as you possibly can. Plant everything that you can into them. Like, give them everything that you know already because it helps them so much. Like, it, it, there's role models on YouTube, obviously. Like, I see Low Budget Lean Muscle is, is probably my number one role model right now. Every single video that he has... I watch it as soon as I can. He, he, I just look up to him so much. There, there's obviously like my father's my role model. Like my mother's my role model. Like the way that we grow, like ultimately it, it is our decision to decide what we want to be and where we're gonna go in life. But these people have so much of an impact on us, a lot more than we think. And I think we realize that more when we get older, around my age or even older than that. Like I guess like when you're out there in the real world, you really, really finally get to see like who helped you out when you were trying to become what you were trying to become. So it is a beautiful thing. I, I I never, ever, ever, ever stop using the word encouragement. Like, always try to encourage these people. 
into doing what they, what they love. Like, don't discourage. I always tell you guys, there's not one positive thing that comes out of negativity. Always encourage them for the better. Always help them grow into what they want to become. But like I said, how you take care of that seed, that beautiful, that be I'm sorry, that, that tiny seed is going to turn into a beautiful flower one day. It's going to turn into a beautiful thing that you once planted in the ground. So give everything that you can to them for the better. Like help them become who they want to become. That's really all I have for you guys today. It was just the, the three things was that your actions, your words, and your attitude. Think about those three things when you're around those those younger kids because, like I said, they're confused. They don't really know exactly what they want to do in the future, and they don't really know how to basically live in the real world because they're young. You can't, you can't expect them to. I didn't when I was 13 or 14 years old. I always wish I had a bigger brother, but I never did. So I'm trying to do everything possible that if I did have a bigger brother, he would do that for me. At least I would expect he would. So I'm trying to guide them in the right direction, and help them out with whatever whatever I can, whatever I possibly can. Always encourage. Do like There is no positivity in discouraging someone. What like I never understood how somebody could feel good about themselves by insulting someone else. I never understood that. I honestly never have. I always encourage no matter what, no matter what the situation is. I always think about the best thing possible, or at least I try to. Life is kind of tough sometimes. You know, it has me up and down, but that's with everyone else as well you know you, you you can't you can't really control that you can't control some of the things that life throws your way so you just gotta i guess take it with a grain of salt and try your best to move on and and move forward because eventually <clears throat> all of this will will be better for you guys and i'm telling you i'm telling you guys right now just plant your seeds into them give them your knowledge give them your wisdom give give them your inspiration they look up to you more than you think they really do so that's really all I got for you guys today. I try to make this quick. I'm sorry. I know it's seven minutes. It's freaking long as hell. Quick message to my subscribers. Thank you guys very much. I wasn't going to wait until like 100 subscribers or so to say thank you, and I appreciate it. I only have 35 right now, but it's really not even only. I don't know why I said only because I'm trying my best to help 35 people out in this whole world, so that means a lot to me. It really does. Like I said, I'm, always, I'm doing this for you guys, so I really do appreciate everything that, like all the feedback that you guys have for me. I really do appreciate when you like my videos, when, when you comment, when you subscribe, so... You know, I, I really hope I'm, I'm helping people. I just took that, uh, I just wanted to tell you guys that because that, that really does mean a lot to me and that really does mean a lot to our future, meaning like the younger teenagers in this world. The more we help them, the better that they'll become in, in the future, guys. Just guide them and lead them in the right direction. Lead by example. Remember I say that. Lead by example. I know you guys can do it. You know, I hope everything's going well with everyone. V-Buzz 11. God bless. Thank you, guys.